Welcome back to Gaming with Murel, episode 4 of Let's Play Craft the World. Uh, we demolished the camp. Uh, just while I was talking, I guess. And let's make this easier for everyone involved. Gonna work our way up into here while avoiding this nest full of buggy things. Yeah, that's the nest we're trying to avoid. Oh. Jeez. It's a lot of bugs. Yeah, so we're going to avoid breaching there for a little while anyway. But we do have basic weapons to build now, so we're going to hop on that. I'm uh, going to build some... Bows. Bows are really nice for a couple reasons. Uh, obviously, one of them would be you don't have to be right close to what you're attacking, which will give us an advantage, especially since we're coming up really close to the next monster wave. In addition, we have some feathers and resin, so I'm going to get a craft dwarf to make some fire arrows as well. And as you can see, we do have infinite simple arrows, but fire arrows are finite, you know, it's the amount that you make. And they are nice because they do more damage. So we will craft, you know, some of those. And as well in basic weaponry, there was steel clubs. And we're going to make a couple of those too, because I do like having some melee. You know, I really don't like being completely brainwashed. So there we go, we're set off to do that. But we also have things over here to do, so I'm going to start building a ladder here. I'm actually going to build a portal spell over here, too, and make it a long-lasting one. Uh, just because I suspect they will be going back and forth quite a bit. Uh, I'm a little worried about that monster wave, to be honest. I really am. But we'll keep digging away. What's the worst that can happen? Kill us all? So that should put us there. So that's going to be our entrance to the castle of death and destruction and doom. But we've completed a task. New technology, basic weaponry. So let's take a look at the crafting tree and see what that's unlocked. And this is basic fortifications, which is nice. Uh, especially since that unlocks fishing, which is going to be another good resource for us. And we still have a bit of basic processing to do. I completely forgot we had that one, to be honest. So first thing we're going to do is take care of that. We have some glass. All we need is a little bit of coal. We don't have as much as I thought we did, so... We'll make a bunch of glass, and then get our dwarves. Let's see, what's the best way to do this? 
this. We're gonna go down. Because we are going to need coal going forward for pretty much every project we want to do. Even most of the recipes require at least one coal to cook. We're up to fire arrows, but let's check out our new task. Protect our home. We just need to make a couple of traps and fortifications. But we are coming up on... About a minute left until that monster wave. Ooh. So I'm actually just gonna close the wooden hatch. And when the wave happens, I'm just going to get everyone to come inside using that spell of the horn. Actually, I don't even think we're going to need to, because we have enough jobs to keep them occupied. Uh, provided... Uh, the last time this happened, we got overrun because the moats weren't wide enough, uh, and they were filled with plants. So we've been working hard to keep the plants from growing, and we widened them by one block. So we should be safe, depending on where it spawns. And where the portal spawns, but we'll find out any minute now, or any second, really. So, fingers crossed, it doesn't happen any. No? Okay, so we do have a moat between us and the portal, but let's see what spawns. Some skeletons, and zombies. Just waiting to see what the boss monster is. Okay, nope. What oh, damn it, Millie? Get out of here. What are they doing? Oh. I knew this wasn't going to end well. Just one of those feelings. Good news is, these enemies are about as smart as our dwarves. One down? Okay. We'll just have to keep an eye on that. Like all other monsters, they will uh, burst into flames come dawn. So we don't have to worry too much. Uh, just provided they don't get inside our fortress. Uh, because if they do get inside the fortress and underground, they won't disappear or run away come uh, daylight. They will stick around until you kill them. But all in all, it looks like our moat is holding. Though I do feel like we should make it deeper now. I know that I'm just being paranoid when I say that. And I accept that. But it would make me feel safer. But 
on to more productive things. We're up here now. We do need to put in some lights so we can see. Hmm. And we will probably have to put some ladders in here too. So I'm going to try not to block off the door. But now that we do have a bit more coal, let's take a look at what else we can make with that basic processing. Uh, another thing we're going to need is oil, which needs bottles. And bottles need glass and coal. So, glass, iron, coal, and we'll make a handful of bottles. And now we just have to wait for those to be crafted. And that does take place at the smithy. So that is open though. We have crafted all our tools. So we'll just move on. Which actually should mean we've crafted some weapons. Wall is going to get a club, as is Rory. You too, Millie. And everyone else is going to get bows. Yeah, that goes. Ah, no, we'll stick with the steel clubs. So we've got them at least armed. And they didn't break through. In fact, those that can are running away for the most part. Huh. Well, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. But as we can see here, that's getting full again, so we'll take care of that. And kill that chicken. And over here they are under the mountain now, so we will start digging up. And digging up is going to be relatively slow. And that's just simply because we're going to have to build a ladder piece each level. But we have some bottles. Actually, let's check out everyone's equipment again. Make sure that everyone has a good Solid iron pick. There. Everyone should have proper equipment now. Let's check out our new tasks. Oh, basic processing is full, so that takes us on to advanced uh, illumination. And those are just different lights, which we do need to gain access to some of the more advanced comfort items. Which means we're going to need a fair bit of wood. And for the first time in a little while, this area has been free of goblins, so I'm going to take advantage of this and cut down these trees. And as you can see, we're working a little bit away, so we're going to put a portal up. It's going to take longer than that, so we'll give it a yeah, we'll give it a 12-minute life. It definitely won't last that long, but 
What can we do? And I'm actually gonna stick a portal over here too, because there's quite a bit of things that need to be gathered. Chop away there. Ooh. So. All right. So in the next episode, let's see. We're going to take care of the advanced illumination and basic fortifications. Hopefully. We're going to build up and start actually making our Castle of Terror. What are we being attacked by? Probably a, a nothing. Uh, probably it was a spider that dropped out or something. We're going to clear cut this area and hopefully gather the resources that are just sitting around over here. But that being said, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, subscribe or check out our Twitter at GamingWithMurel. And thanks for watching. I will see you next time.